In 2019, uh, I was invited here <laughs> to be a, a visiting artist with my husband. Uh, we make time-based media together. Uh, we create performances. Uh, we have a mixed media practice. So we came and we uh, took over Cole Gallery for a couple of days and installed a video installation that became a performance environment. And while uh, I was visiting, while we were visiting, I, I fell in love with the college. Uh, I, I love the campus, I love the students, I love the faculty. It seemed like there was a lot of openness for cross-collaboration and interdisciplinary conversations. Uh, so I fell in love with the, with the campus and not long after that they posted the position uh, for the gallery director and curator uh, for Cole Gallery. Yes. So I, I, did a, I did an exhibition called Sign Systems in Cole and then I followed that up with another exhibition called Intimate Generations which was uh, artists exploring uh, ideas that had to do with family connection, and then COVID hit. There was an exhibit that was, that was uh, slated to happen last fall. Uh, it was uh, supported by a Hedgelon Foundation grant, and uh, that exhibition is called Mapping Meaning. And Mapping Meaning is a collective of uh, women artists, scientists, and scholars who uh, come together at different biological field stations every two years out, out west, engage in transdisciplinary workshops in which they explore different kinds of topics related to social and ecological emergency. Very, everyone was very excited about that exhibit because it's a perfect kind of uh, working method for the liberal arts. Uh, people working across the sciences and the arts and as scholars. So when I was thinking about their work in that exhibit, it came to me that it would be really interesting and really timely to curate an entire academic year uh, around the intersection of art, environment, and ecology. So this exhibit by Monica jahan is uh, she, she works around themes related to climate change. Really hoped that students would get out of this exhibit, but also that anybody could get out of this exhibit. It is the urgency of these issues, number one, uh, but, but number two, the beauty of art and creativity is that these issues can be explored in so many different ways. All of her intellectual concerns are funneled into this beautiful artistic practice. The, uh, it, the member show is going to be up uh, November 18th through December 12th. I'm, I mean, I'm so excited to see this work and I'm, I'm excited by the categories also. Having lived in Salisbury, now being in Chestertown, meeting more people in Easton, uh, having you know, also gone to places like the Rehoboth Art League and the Ocean City Art League, I I've really gotten to witness uh, so, so much of the Eastern Shore's talent. I think the Academy Art Museum brings so much together because it's the kind of museum that it is, it acts as a beacon. I think, and it's also a centralized place where all of these different communities can come.